Hey, a pleasant good evening, everybody. This is Sports Fanatic News. I'm Joe Borg, and this is just going to be a quick video recapping the career of Dustin Pedroia. Um, I'm going to recap the careers of some other guys that retired recently, uh, too, in uh, short videos in the near future as well. But he's obviously a rookie of the year, um, active uh, World Series winner a couple times as well, big part of the 07 team. Uh, when he was really able to get going that year uh, in his first year and then just keep churning since a uh, four-time all-star great fielder four-time gold glover wilson overall defender of the year uh the list goes on he's a 51.6 career war 299 batting average 725 rbis 138 stolen bases when he could he could definitely scat when uh he was younger before the knee knee problems and his ops plus is 113 uh this guy's a great career player um, and unfortunately, he had to finish right under 300 in his batting average, and that's only because of injury, obviously, at a 299, so that's obviously a pain in the butt. But uh, he's a career um, 299 uh, hitter. Really, he would have been over 300, though, if it wasn't for injuries, in my opinion. But he's still great, and I honestly think um, if I was voting, I would be voting Dustin Drew in the Hall of Fame. I understand his numbers aren't ridiculously high for it in terms of RBI 725 and all that. Hood spot, but the thing is, I feel like for the Hall of Fame, when you have that stretch you have from 07 all the way up to 2013 when he made an all star team again, played 160 games, then he played 135 games, still hit 278. When he played 154 at 32, when he started having some of the knee issues, uh, played 154, hit 318, and he had started having some of the knee issues in 17, only playing 105. That's when he started having the more big time. Uh, he still hit 293. Um, the guy just kept hitting, and uh, he's a guy that I feel like the Hall of Fame is really, really, really over-amped with how strict it is in baseball. That's why I honestly personally love hockey's Hall of Fame, where you stay on the ballot infinitely. So if a guy can get in literally 50 years after he was first put on the ballot, I, I think that's a better strategy in my opinion. But, you know, it is what it is. But in my opinion, when you have a stretch run of 07 to 14 even, including that season, and then you come back and have a good 16 and 17 after a 93-game season in 15, I feel like that's worthy because you had a good stretch run. Your numbers might not be as peaked because of the um, fact that you've got injured and had to retire 35 when he's a guy that probably would have aged like a fine wine with no injuries because he kept hitting when healthy. But when you've won an MVP at second base, you're the rookie of the year, you're the World Series champ multiple times, silver slugger, feel great, hit great, you don't get nicknamed the laser show for no reason, and a ridiculous OPS plus career again, like I said, at 113, like, it, it just wouldn't make sense for him not to get in, in my opinion. He's also very well liked. The big reason Jeff Kent doesn't get in him is, uh, in my opinion, the fact that he just wasn't liked by the media and voters and writers, that's going to be hard. I think the Veterans Committee will put Kent in eventually. And uh, Dustin Pedroia, I feel like if it does eventually get to the Veterans Committee and he doesn't get put in by the writers, will be put in, but I do think he should be put in by the writers, and he's also very well liked, so I think he actually might have a better chance than Jeff Kent to get put in right away, even though he doesn't have his peak numbers uh, in some categories as Kent. Elders, he actually beats him in, but it'll be interesting. I think uh, it would open a can of worms in some sense if Pedroia gets in, but I think the MLB Hall of Fame could afford to be a little bit more lenient there, or overly strict in my opinion, when it comes to that. But this has just been a short video recapping Dustin Pedroia's career. I hope everyone has a great, safe, and pleasant day. Stay safe out there. This has been Sports Fanatic News. I'm Joe Boric. Have a great, safe, and pleasant night, everybody. And please like, comment, and subscribe. Peace out.